Happy Monday! I hope you had a great weekend because we're going to need to muster all the patience we can today. Before we begin, let's collectively take a deep breath over Terry's anti-penultimate wager. It was just terrible. Okay, here's the situation we're dealing with. Terry has an $800 lead over Sean. Linda in third place. Normally this would be a pretty good game, but... Uh, uh, we'll go into that later. Start with first and second. If Sean doubles up, he's going to have 25.6. So to cover that, Terry will need to wager 12,000. If she's wrong with that wager, she'll be left with 1,600. So that means Sean against her can wager up to 11.2. And Linda can wager up to 9.2. 9,200. All right, second and third now, Sean and Linda. Linda doubles up, she will have 21.6, so to cover her, Sean will need to wager 8,800. He's wrong with that wager, he'll be left with 4,000, so that means uh, Linda can wager up to 6,800. Make that a new maximum. Okie dokie. Rule number three now, and the only person who can really take advantage of this is Linda because she is in third place in a close game to cover a zero wager by both Terry and Sean. That's 2,800. Double that to cover unsafe wagers by both of them. That's 5,600. And now we move into mind games. So let's take Sean's rational maximum of 11.2 and add that to his score. If he's right, he'll have 24,000. So to cover that, Terry will need to wager 10,400. If he's wrong with that wager, or if she's wrong with that wager, she'll have uh, 3,200. To stay above that, Sean's going to want to cap his wager at... Uh, 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 uh. Why is that not so bad right now? 9,600. And that's 7,600 for Linda, which is already capped at 6,800. As for Linda 6,800, let's see what that will do to Sean's range. She's right with 6,800. Uh, that will give her 17,6, so to cover that. And remember, these are all alternatives now. We're not looking at uh, level 1 wagers, I would say. Uh, 4,800 would be his maximum, or his minimum, wager. Okay, that is pretty much it. Let's see how our players actually did. Start with Linda. She got it wrong, wagered everything. Don't like that wager. Over to Sean, who also got it wrong and left himself with 4,000. And finally, Terry responded correctly and added back that 10,000 that she risked on the Daily Double which didn't lock anybody out, and I have no idea why she did that. <laughs> I wonder if she learned wagering theory in the 15 minutes between the Monday and Tuesday games. Well, I guess we'll find out tomorrow. And I hope you'll join me then as we pick apart yet another final wager.